we're in a very lucky time. Because of technology, communications, we've learned more in the last 100 years than in the past 5,000 years. You go back to the papyrus in Egypt, there are descriptions of brain, brain injury from war. It wasn't until Aristotle, about 350 BC, felt that there's some vitalism in the body, he called it an entelechy. He didn't know if it came from the heart, the brain, nobody really knew. And it wasn't until 1906 that two scientists, Camilo Golgi and Santiago Ramon y Cajal, won the Nobel Prize for understanding first what neurons are. Camilo Golgi came up with the Golgi stain that allowed us to start to see neurons. So let's flash forward 100 years, 1906, we're 100 years later. We've gone from just understanding what a neuron is to understanding tensors, networks, other complex things. So in order to understand the brain, we involve many disciplines. There are the medical ones, there are the anatomy ones, the physics ones, and philosophy and religion. We can't forget all of these types of things that are all critical involved. And there may also be other things of which we're never going to understand or even capable of understanding as humans.